Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. I have a digital photo frame that I think is wonderful. I want to show you how to select the pictures you want and export them to the frame storage device so that you can view the, the pictures on your digital photo frame. My digital photo frame has several input slots for different storage devices. I'm just using a compact flash card, this 4 gigabyte card, the same card that I use in my camera. Here I am in Picasa and my first task is to select just those pictures that I want to transfer to the photo frame. Now you might have organized your pictures into albums and you just want to transfer one album or, or a few albums. If so, you could select an album. I am going to use the filters up here because I want pretty much all my pictures, not just one group, but I only want the best ones. If you're good at using the star to mark your best ones, you could filter to just show the starred pictures. I'm not so good at that, but I do upload my pictures to a web album, all the good ones. So I'm going to click on this button right here to show the, all the pictures that I've uploaded. When I click on that, I am only now looking at the pictures that I've uploaded. And notice they're still grouped by their folders. If I want to grab all of them together, I want to eliminate those folder lines. So I'm going to click here where it says search results. Now I'm looking at one group of pictures that are just those search results. All 2,864 pictures that I have uploaded to the web. Now I've already done this to my photo frame last year. So I have all these pictures up until October 9 of 2009. So now I want to limit the dates of the pictures. One way to specify dates is with this date range slider. Notice if I put it all the way over to the right, it tells me that these are pictures up to two days old. And as I scroll to the left, it gives me more and more pictures. But you can't specify exact dates here. You can only get up to three months old, five, etc. And then it goes to one year and two years. Well, I want to get all pictures with the earliest one being October 9, 2009, and the latest one being today. So that slider isn't going to do me a whole lot of good. But these are in date order. I can tell, I can right click on the search results, sort by date. And this is the most recent one. So now if I scroll down and find October 2009, I'll pause a minute while I find that. Okay, so just in case you don't know how to find the date, if you click on any given picture, the date of that picture shows up down here in the status line. So I want to start with October 9, 2009. That's this picture right here. I click on that, and then I go back up to the top, which would be the current, and I'm going to hold down the Shift key and click. And now notice all of those pictures have been selected down here in the selection tray. It tells me there's 618 pictures from October 9, 2009 to July 9, 2010. Perfect. Those are the pictures that I want on my photo frame. Now is when you use the export command. That will take all the edits with it. So the pictures that you export are going to be exactly the pictures that you're seeing in Picasa, including what I cropped and color corrections and stuff. Export. Now I've already inserted the CF card from the picture frame into a card reader attached to my computer. So that export location is the drive J and I click OK. And I want to put it in a folder called 2010 pictures. And now use original size or resize too. Well the picture frame doesn't need to have huge pictures so I am going to say resize too and I think 1024 will be plenty. That will look good on the picture frame but be smaller than the full size and I click export. And this is going to take a minute. Watch what's going on down here. It is exporting. 
Now it's done, and I have over 3,000 pictures on that CF card. I'll put it back in the photo frame, and it can play pictures for, oh, a few days, I think. <laughs> and that's using a digital photo frame. Select the pictures you want and export to the frame's storage device. There's lots more to learn with tutorial videos at geeksontour.com.